Hi guys, Jelly Mold here with another game video where today, welcome back to Carpe Diem Reboot. I don't quite remember what happened last time, so... We're just gonna start the video because I need to know things. I feel my body shake as I regain consciousness. I can faintly hear I shouting my name over and over again. Young! Young! Wake up! What? What did I do? I immediately opened my eyes and sit up in bed, worried that she's trying to warn me about a fire or an earthquake or something. What? What's going on? Good morning! That. I look her straight in the eye for a minute before letting out a heavy sigh. Did you wake me up just to say good morning? That's not how that works, you know. No, we're going to see Yume. What? But we just saw her yesterday. We were texting each other last night, and I decided that I wanted to talk to her more in person. <clears throat> okay, I'm starting we're like to remember. We're best friends now. Okay, we met Bakery Person, Secret Societies, all that. It's all coming back. Okay, I am refreshed. It normally takes a bit longer to build that up to that title, you know. You just don't understand human relationships, do you? Oh. Also, I went to buy my own phone right <sighs> I'm also recalling being roasted a ton. Okay, yeah, this game is... same as ever. It's extremely early in the morning, and I already feel tired just listening to her. I mean, there's also the option of her going alone, but that would be only to her second time assimilating with normal people. No matter how adaptive she is, I don't think I is ready to be left alone just yet, meaning to feel like a parent. Listen, I, it would be the third consecutive day of me going outside. Do you know what the last time that happened was? Never. Why don't you do some more projects or something? You want to get to the top of the website, don't you? That's an entirely different story. Come on! She pulls me out of bed, making this the second day in a row where she has disrupted my sleep. Is this what my life has become? Is there no changing her mind once she's set on something, or so I submit? Fine, just let me take a bath first. Maybe I can go back to sleep in the bath. <laughs> Seriously, dude? I fill the bathtub with water and hop in. Baths are weird because even though I find myself closing my eyes and relaxing when I take them, I somehow also feel refreshed and rejuvenated afterward. To birds with one stone, I guess. I choose to live in the city because it's quiet and peaceful as long as I don't leave the confines. I've been here kind of isolated from responsibilities and problems thanks to this place. Unfortunately, it looks like I is going to be the end of that peaceful lifestyle. Hurry up! Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. As much as I want to sit here and soak in the day away, I bet I would drag me out naked if I took any longer. That would be... No, I'm not going to elaborate. That's a bad idea. She stands at the door wearing some clothes she bought yesterday. Okay. What took like you so long? Hmm, probably the disinterest in leaving the house three days in a row. Complain later, young. I already told her we're on our way. No. You're the worst. Why exactly does this need to happen today? You may said she'll come with me to buy a phone. Why do you suddenly need a phone? So I don't have to use yours all the time. Duh. Okay, yep, yeah, that, that's fair. And how am I factored into this equation? You're the one with the phone right now. I need you in order to communicate with Yume. Is this all I am to her? A cell phone? She also told me there's a new menu she wants us to try. Could out. I not have just given you my phone? Would that not have worked? Okay, now I'm interested. Trying out new bakery items before they're released? Sign me up! Well, I guess if you insist. You're so easy. Welcome! Oh, it's you two. Hey, uh. Yo. How are you this morning? Wait, the jacket. Hey, uh. Oh, I figured it out! I is Sans! It's confirmed! Great! I blankly stare at Yume. I guess I woke you up then, huh? I assume she told you about the new menu as well? Yes. All I know is that there's a new pastry here. Where is it? Where is it called? Bring it to me! I can't even remember the name of it. Can you just look at the text messages? Oh, yeah, still getting used to this. <laughs> it should be done by now. Have a seat, you two. I'll get it ready in a moment. 
Tatsu! So what? How exactly could you forget something as important as the name of the new pastry? What are you talking about? It's perfectly normal for a person to forget things, right? For a human, yes. For a highly advanced artificial intelligence program, not really. I am human, Young! I forget things just like anyone else! Did you set yourself up that way? Why? Some people would kill to have a perfect memory. She pouts and looks the way. Look, I'm not telling you how to live your life. I understand you're trying to act like a real human, but there are things about yourself that you should be grateful for. I'm a real human. Fine, do what you want. She glances at me to see if I'm being sarcastic, but she can tell that I was being sincere about that last sentence. Of course I'll do what I want. Not even you can tell me how to live my life. Yep. Before things can get any more awkward, Yume shows up. Here it is. Yume places two plates on the table. Both plates have something that resemble a pancake, but one is dark brown and the other is, well, pancake colored. I call them the angel hot cake and the devil hot cake. Interesting. So they are pancakes. Wait, you don't mean... It's exactly as it sounds. The hotcake versions of the angel cake and the devil cake yeah, you guys knew had it. yesterday. I knew it. I'm thinking of adding them to the That makes perfect set. sense. So it's like devil cake dot zip. You're gonna give yourself away. Converted, not compressed. <laughs> ah, computer jokes. Overly excited, I take a plate of devil hot cake and immediately reach the, for the butter and syrup. The butter quickly melts over the steaming hot cake, and the syrup covers it with a beautiful brown color. I cut up a small piece with my fork and eat it. I don't really know what kind of face I'm making, but I and Yume are staring at me, smiling. Someone really loves his devil cake. <clears throat> I'm not even gonna die. Not uh, okay. Words escaped me today, apparently. I'm not even going to deny that. How was it? Just when I thought Devil Cake couldn't get any better. This is brilliant! I expected nothing less from you. Thanks. I takes a bite of her angel hot cake. Mmm, delicious! Glad you like them. I wanna try it, I wanna try it, I wanna try it! Do you want to try it? Yes! You're so easy to read, young. Here, have some. I cut myself a piece from her plate. Hmm. What's wrong? You don't like it? No, I do. But it just tastes like a normal pancake. Oh, so this is what a normal pancake tastes like. You've never eaten a pancake before? Mm. Uh, uh. She's actually from a place where pancakes don't exist. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes. I kicks my shin underneath the table. Really? Where is that? It's somewhere far away. Ah, uh, yes. You've but probably never this heard of it so before. so convincing. Don't 10 out of 10. Worry about it. Wow, let's talk about how great this pancake is. Wow, delicious. I see. Well, actually, the recipes for the angel cake and pancake aren't much different, so I did expect them to taste a bit similar. I guess I'll just be... Nope. Oh, okay, what have I done? I didn't realize that was a skip button. I apologize. Uh, give me a moment. Okay, I think we're back. Well, let's... Yeah, here we go. I see. Well, I, I guess yep, I'll... Yep, 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 Okay, all right. These aren't being officially sold here yet. Which means I got to taste heaven before anyone else. I'm so blessed. I think I might cry. You're being too dramatic. I'll go get ready so we can head out when you two are done. Be right back. Head out where? Buying a phone for me. Remember? Oh, yeah. Can I just go home now? You may show us back up as soon as we both finish eating. Oh, wow. You guys eat fast. How about you? You're not going to eat anything? I ate earlier, so I'm good to go. This is a time... There's a time earlier than this? So, shall we head out? Yeah! Sorry that she's dragging you around despite only meeting you yesterday. Don't worry about it. I was actually the one who came up with the idea. Besides, I needed to go out today anyway. What? You need to buy stuff too? No, but I have to head to the university later. Ah, okay. I see. University. I guess that works out then. Okay, onward! 
What an kind adventure. Of are you looking for, I? Hmm. Don't know. A normal one? That doesn't really narrow the selection much. What kind of phones have you used before? I have only ever used his phone. Young. My phone is not the normal one you're looking for, so don't bother trying to find it anywhere. Not a normal one. Could it be an exclusive device for Kanyo Shinti members? <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, I never really called it exclusive, but I guess now that I think about it, it really is only being used by the few of us Kanyo Shinti members. It's really just a little toy me and my friend made a long time ago. That's so cool. Maybe I should try making a custom phone too. Crap, I may have raised my own hurdle. But I guess that doesn't help us choose a phone for I, huh? Why don't we go around and look at different phones? You can pick which one you like afterwards. Good idea! We wind up checking out several different stores. Most of them have the same models. Hmm. Universe A8. I've heard of this a lot. Yeah, it's been in the last four stores we've gone to. It's quite a popular brand and model. I wonder why they call it Universe. That has, like, nothing hmm. to do with phones. Universe. I wonder what that's in reference to. Hmm. They wanted a brand that would be the next big thing, so they named it after the actual biggest thing out there. <laughs> you may chuckle a bit. I just stares at me with a straight face. You need to work on your sense of humor. It's not my sense of humor, though. Leave me alone. The Universe A9 has the highest quality hardware components on the phone market today. Hmm. The camera is crystal clear, and the gyroscope and accelerometer are also extremely precise. Whoa, you know a lot about phones. I think she knows a lot about the tech world in general. Yume seems to be one of those people who gets really excited over any newly released gadget. One of those so-called tech nerds. Just looking at her, I would never have expected that at first. I actually have an A8, the model before it. That's why I know a bit about it. Ah! A poster of the upcoming phone catches her attention as she rushes towards it. She is extremely excited. What is that? I gives me a soft voice, making sure she doesn't distract Yume from reading the specs of the upcoming model. Don't ask me, I have bought a phone in years. You need to know more about the world you live in, young. <clears throat> Look who's talking. That S60. Huh? It's an upcoming model. Haven't you heard of it? I've been waiting for it for almost a year now. She smiles from ear to ear. Look! It has an integrated thermal camera. It's the first phone to ever have that, ever. Thermal? So it's got a heat sensor? What do you need that for? Fair. I pull I by the shoulder far enough that you may can't hear us. Listen, I. If there is anything about this world that I can ever teach you for certain, it's to never question geeks. I can't tell you why, just don't do it. Hey, sorry. I got too carried away. So, do you want to check out the next store? Uh, no. I think I've made up my mind. Oh, no, we can we can go back to our safety of our home. I'll get the A8 so we can match. You may blush a bit and smiles. <laughs> you might as well get the A9 if that's the case. There's no point in investing in an older model when there's a better one. Hmm, okay. The A9 it is then. I pass my credit card to Ai, and as she and Yume make their way to the counter. Not knowing what to do with my alone time, I start picking up random phones and pretending to observe them, avoiding any clerks that ask me if I need help. After what seems like a suspiciously short amount of time, Ai walks back over with her new phone held proudly above her head. From the look on Yume's face, I can tell that Ai must have been a little too liberal with my credit card. Young! Guess what? I bought a cute case for my new phone! Look! Well, at least she was quick. I honestly expected us to take a few hours. I still have some free time before my appointment. Then how about we go shopping? I need to buy more clothes anyway. You literally bought clothes yesterday. You just don't get it. A girl needs to fill her wardrobe. Right, Yume? 
I actually don't go shopping all that much. I'm not as into fashion as most girls. See? Plus you don't even have your own wardrobe. Fine, we're buying a wardrobe then. I cannot win. Where would we even put it? Hey, it's my money. I can do what I want with it. But it's my credit card. Then I'm getting a credit card too. Are you going to do that with no government issued ID? No, no, that was a no. Why would I say that, you idiot? That line takes you may by surprise. I need to stop slipping up like this. Hmm? Why don't you have an ID card, I? Do do do. Uh, I lost it. Why don't you get a new one? Oh no 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 no! She didn't actually lose it. It still totally exists. Yep, not lost at all. She left it back in her hometown. Make sure you grab it next time, I. Yeah yeah! Thanks, young. What was I thinking, leaving home without my completely real, not at all fake oh, ID? <laughs> hmm. Did she buy it? So, you guys were shopping, right? Oh, right! Come on, Yume! I grabbed Yume by the hand and- oh, Where okay. should we go? Uh, you could pause the video and read that yourselves. I'm not going back for one line. Hmm, I'm not really sure. This city is kind of small and isn't really built for clothes shopping. It's fine. It's only my second time going to the market anyway. I'm sure we'll find at least one interesting shop. Yeah, that's fair. You may kindly smile at I. I don't know where you're from, I, but it sounds to me like it was an adorable little country town. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous, really. I've always wanted to go somewhere like that. Me? Uh, no, it's nothing special. Just a normal town. Oh, stop. Tell me more about where you're from. I want to know. Hmm. Curious about what kind of lie I would come up with, I quickly continue to eavesdrop. I quickly notice I have no intentions of helping her and is forced to fend for herself. It's, uh, really nothing special. It's a very restrictive place. Lots of rules and curfews and stuff. Uh. I hated it. Yeah, I guess you could put it that way. In fact, I can't even name one good thing about it, looking back. It's like being trapped. It's like seeing all of these other bright and beautiful places out there and never being able to experience them firsthand. How does this work? Like, I could see this as an actual town, but yet my brain's just like, no, you know this, and you know what this actually means. It's lonely, isolated, I... Instead of trying to avoid the question, she answers truthfully. I guess I really isn't good at lying. I never realized I felt that way. Ever since she's become human, she's been super excited and energetic all the time, but inside, she felt trapped? The way her programming is constructed allows her to adapt intellectually and logically, but I never assumed sentience would be a factor. The idea that a computer program could have feelings what does that mean for other programs? I'm overcome with extreme guilt and fixate my eyes on the ground. You may seem confused, but continue to listen nonetheless. I interrupt before she can go any further. She's had some bad memories of that place. Oh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have asked. No, no, it's okay. I guess you may have forced smile before gesturing a quick thank you to me. Hey, why don't we try that store down the street? We haven't been there yet. She immediately converts back to her normal happy-go-lucky self. The heavy atmosphere has been lifted and the shopping spree ensues. I pulls Yume by the arm. They visit every kind of establishment they lay their eyes on and mostly window shop. I follow behind like a bodyguard as they hop from store to store. Trying to read. Come on. It just sound weird. I learn... Wait. Learns. Uh, okay, I learns yet more things about the real world as they go. Similarly, you may learn... There's a lot of learns in this. More about I and enjoys her company. It is obvious how close the two have become in such a short period of time. It makes me happy. But at the same time, extremely bored and tired of following them around. 
One particularly closing store caught Ai's attention, not for the clothes that they sell, but for this one accessory that she saw. Sorry if I'm struggling a bit today, guys. I'm a tad tired. I apologize. A ribbon that resembles a hair tie of the computer rendered model. Immediately, she grabs and pays for it and holds it close to herself like it's a treasure. She looks satisfied and fulfilled, but the shopping spree continues. Oh, I should probably head to the university soon. We'll go with you. Uh, I decides to speak for both of us yet again. Can this day just end already? You two want to come? Duh, I've always wanted to check out a real college anyway. Wow, your hometown really was small. If we go now, I can probably give you- Woohoo! I hate myself. Finger stop slipping. Strangely enough, I've never been to the local university. I've never really had the time or interest, I guess. Even though the university is on the complete opposite side of the city, we need to walk there. Normally I'd hate this, but today I'm fine with it for some reason. Maybe it's because I'm accompanied by two girls? Er, one girl and one ro Oh, come on, dude. Are you going to class today? No, I just have a quick meeting with the professor. If I'm remembering correctly, you're at the bakery literally every time I go there. Do you take night classes or something? I don't really attend classes. What? That's such a waste! You don't get to hang out, or talk to your classmates, or go shopping with your friends, or play hide and seek together, or do crazy stuff like... That sounds more like elementary school than college. If your professor is fine, okay with it, okay. Get straight A's. <laughs> That's impressive. Damn. I've always been hearing I praising Yume and all, but I didn't think much of it. But she might actually be someone really great. I'm starting to feel ashamed of being the person she claims to want to surpass. I expected nothing less from my arch rival, Troy. You're not number one in the world. It's for no reason. Kind of I can finish your sentence for once. Troy in person. Either way, Jung is more amazing than I am. I just have a lot of free time. Huh? No, I... Wait. Members of the Kanyu Shinti all live together, right? Does that mean the others are in this city as well? Oh my god, I totally want to meet that them. That would be something. Rumi, Sir Helios, but all things Isabel? considered, I don't think we do. Because, you know, um, number one, our house is tiny. And number two, I haven't seen random people. Ah, just thinking about it makes me restless. I don't think I've ever seen her this excited before. I'm really impressed about how much you know about it. You seem... You even drop names. But no, the memories don't necessarily live together. They just enjoy hanging out. I'm kind of not involved with them anymore, so you won't find me with them here. What? Not involved? Like you left? Why would you ever do that? I'm sure I have my reasons. There's just... Uh, oh, we, we kind of had a problem. I need to stop asking questions. Indeed. I'm not very good at reading the atmosphere. I'm so sorry. Eh, no. I don't really like talking about the Cognoshin. It's not that I'm not allowed or anything, it's just a topic I'd rather avoid. Besides, I might actually be a good idea to tell her about the current situation of the group. Maybe that would change her opinion of them as a whole. I guess I could tell you. You may rushes forward and her eyes expand three times their normal size. Her face is extremely close. I seems interested too. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever discussed my past with her either. Regardless, they're both completely fixed on me. Oh man, I'm starting to feel pressured. It's a bit of a long story, so why don't we just sit down on this bench? So, where should I start? Okay, so there's a member of this group named Lily. Lily as in the leader of the group, right? How do you know all this? She was so careful and so discreet that I didn't think anyone ever would ever know about her. Well, anyway, Lily and I used to see each other and... Huh? You had a girlfriend? Okay, apparently. I'm kind of offended offended by that reaction, but yes! That was a long time ago, though. Lillian had an older brother named Adam who was an unofficial member of the Cognoscenti, and he was an extremely intelligent person and had an incredibly competent leader. He easily gained the respect of anyone he came across almost immediately. He even stood as the leader of the Cognoscenti previously. 
sounds strange. I've never heard of him before. I doubt anyone outside the group has. You've probably heard of him from another group, but we'll get to that in a second. Lily was never really the leader type, but she was great at finding talented people. This, of course, was what made her so perfect for forming the Cognoscenti. In a sense, she was like Adam's opposite. The two had a remarkable list of similarities, but they were at completely opposite sides of the spectrum. In case you didn't know yet, Adam and Lily came from high-class family. They were related to some very influential people in history. Lily's objective of materializing the legend seemed pretty ambitious at first, but her brother stayed, started to take that to new extremes. Adam claimed that the current government systems in this world were outdated and faulty. He thought that the improper balance of power for constant need for money would ultimately lead to the end of the world. So he wanted to remodel it. He was kind of like a vigilante willing to do anything it takes to revive his vision of mankind. Confident in his own abilities, he devised a plan for the New World Order. The plan proposed of a centralized organization responsible for overseeing all nations and all people. But instead of it being labeled as the government, it would be viewed as a group consisting of the most educated people in the world. All working together to lead man mankind down the right path. Okay, that makes sense. I was a little too good to be true, but we all knew he will use everything in his power to make this come true. As Lily continued to find more exceptional people, the group continued to expand and become more powerful. Eventually, Adam began to take advantage of this order to start up the New World Order. Wait, that would mean he would be publicizing the Cognoscenti, right? Mm, okay, now I see the issue. That's why Lily was opposed to it. She didn't want him using the name of the group for his own reasons. Adam wound up leaving the group to form his own because of this. Some of the members wound up following him and they formed a group called the Perfectiblists. The Perfectiblists. I know about them. Oh, Perfectiblists. Okay. You're really into this kind of stuff, aren't you? I've heard about them before, too. I had no idea it was real, though. The whole Everyone thing knows seemed everything. a little too sketchy. You were involved with them, Young? That's amazing! No, I wasn't. Adam's ideology and intentions were worth acknowledging, but myself and most of the other members were smart enough to know where this plan would backfire at any second. That's why only a handful of the Cognoscenti agreed to help him. Why is that? If he had a plan to make the world a better place, why wouldn't you help him? Unfortunately, saving the world is easier said than done. Humanity is much more complex than that I. If reconstructing society was as easy as a push of a button, it would have been done a long time ago. I can understand that. No leader or president would ever willingly just hand over their power, let alone give it away to some random rebel group. Exactly. Which is why things with Adam be created a harsh atmosphere within the Cognoscenti. And it's ultimately what led to my falling out with the group. Think of it this way, though. If Adam was able to recruit a substantial amount of people instead of just a few from the Cognoscenti, he might actually be able to make some sort of a difference. Grow any group large enough and it's bound to attract attention from the government. Isn't that what Adam wanted? I get the feeling there's something wrong with that idea. It's exactly what he wanted. But once he amassed those numbers, he wasn't planning for a peaceful takeover. There we go, okay. The guy was much more of a bloodthirst than he was a pacifist. He wanted his perfectiblists... Ay ay ay, this word. To conduct a hostile takeover of the government itself, one nation at a time. To Adam, the idea of sacrificing a few to save many was not a, a necessary evil. A necessary... Why can't I speak words? I necessary evil. At least I got this one. The last time this happened, I just couldn't pronounce it for the life of me. And he planned on taking out anyone that got in his way. And that's when Lily stepped in. We all knew that she was strongly opposed to the construction of the Perfectiblists. So when she finally mustered the courage to confront Adam, he seemed to care more about this new cause than the concerns of his sister. She was now an enemy, and all enemies would be eliminated in order to save the world. So is that it? Did you all just part ways or whatever? I wish it was that simple, 
Lily was very determined to stop Adam, and she would have murdered if I had sat back and done nothing. I needed to get involved in order to save Lily. What wound up happening was a result of me being inexperienced and overzealous. So, wait, what? I killed him. Silence. Neither I nor Yume could say anything. They just stared at me. Eyes wide and jaws open. I had no other choice. It was chaotic within the group, and since the government would be on tail as soon as I gained a few more members, something needed to be done. He was being... He was putting everyone, whoever associated with him, at risk. Hell, it was nearly po impossible to come into contact with him at this point. He kept himself holed away for weeks at a time. The only reason I was able to see him in person was because he spent so damn long trying to recruit me. Eventually, I for... I feigned interest and said I would join him. He invited me to where he was hiding and... I let out an exasperated sigh. My mind went blank. The only thing I could even almost think about was saving Lily. Suddenly my brain just went off and it seemed like it was the only plausible thing to do at the time. Lily was devastated, I think. I never really had the courage to go back and talk to her. I gathered the few possessions I had been holding on to and just left. Lots of dots. Doesn't that mean you're still dating? D Seriously, that's what your mind latched on to? What? Lily, you never broke up with her. Is that what you got out of all of that? <laughs> you two certainly know how to lighten the mood. This is exceedingly better than I had imagined it going. What do you think Lily is doing now? I don't know. I try not to talk about it. It could only cause more pain from being near her. How do you know that? What? I mean, you did kill her brother, so she's most likely pissed off about that. But maybe she's realized that you did it to save her. I'm not saying that she's totally forgiven you or whatever, but maybe she's... less pissed off? <laughs> What I'm trying to say here is I guess that that's one way to put it. To her about it isn't going to make anything better. Maybe she's right. Maybe I was staying away from Lily to ease her pain. Maybe the reason I stayed away for so long is that I've been too scared to confront her myself. It isn't easy to wake up to the girl you're in love with and say, I killed your brother. Sorry. Thanks, Yume. I think I needed that. Maybe I'll try to reach out with her sometime. Don't mention it. This also means... Hmm? You're still a member of the Kanye Shinti. <clears throat> Why are you both like this? I'm trying to tell a serious story here. Hello, game. Can I I'm continue also the story? I'm kind of surprised that you've never told I that story before. Not good, young. Not good. You shouldn't be keeping secrets. Eh. 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 From my what now? <sighs> Huh? We're not like that at all! Really? But you live together, right? Uh, don't mind him, he's just too shy to admit it. Why is everyone doing this to me? I has apparently decided to go on with the Lume's assumption about us. I mean, it would definitely explain the whole living together situation, but I just don't th want you made to think that way about us for some reason. Oh yeah, totally dating. Forgot. <laughs> anyway, I should probably be heading to the office now. Sorry I didn't get to give you guys the full tour. Maybe some other time? Don't worry about it. Catch you later, Yume. See you soon. Yep, bright and early for breakfast tomorrow morning. Stop. I forcefully cover her mouth with my hand and wait for Yume as far enough to, too far to hear us. Hey, hey, I can't take another consecutive day of physical activity. I need time to recuperate. She breaks free from my hand. Fine, but you owe me pancakes. D Yume is long gone by now. So, are we supposed to keep pretending that we're lovers in front of Yume from now on? Because I don't think I'm a good enough actor for that. Why not? It's not like we're far from being lovers anyway, What is right? happening? Why? How dare you? Is this what you think of us? Do you not? So, what's the plan now? Should we just head home? Are you kidding? We haven't even made any new friends today. Eh. 
I've got like a hundred people I still need to talk to before I fill my quota. What a pain. Young, what is the point of having the cell phone if the only numbers I have are yours and Yume's? Being able to talk to us? I still need to fill up my contacts list. Why? This is a stupid goal. Just dial random numbers and wait for someone to pick up. Hooray, new friend. Let's go home. That's not how it works. Ah! I find her next victim. Friend spotted. No. She grabs my arms and yanks me towards said victim. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. See, you scared him. What? Of course I didn't. You're not a scaredy cat, right? Um... Hmm, I wonder. My name is I. Uh, hi? What's your name? Um, Ugo. 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 I'm just gonna call you Ugo because I don't want to mispronounce your name, buddy. I turns to me and whispers. Why is he whispering? You aren't exactly making the greatest first impression right now. Do you think that could be it? Or maybe he just didn't like you. Let's go home now. No way. This quest is still active in my log. I'm about to level up, young. <laughs> so, Ugo Kaso, was it? He nods. That's a nice name. What are you doing? He is painting and you are bothering him. Shh. I didn't ask you. I'm sorry, Ugo Kaso. Just humor the annoying girl here and we'll be on our way. What? I'm not annoying him. You annoy everyone. Why don't you go somewhere else while I talk to my new friend? I need to stay here and make sure you don't do anything stupid. I won't. The boy giggles softly. Uh, s sorry. I was not planning on letting this opportunity to socialize pass up. I'm going to presume that means pass her. She rests her arms on the boy's shoulders. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. Laugh if you want to laugh. Ha ha ha! Laughing feels great, right? Uh, okay. He's still unsure of what to do next. He still seems a bit nervous, but who would it be if they were randomly approached by and verbally harassed by two random people? So, Ugo Kasu, my new friend, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Good, good. I see you're painting a pretty cool thing right there. That's a really good painting. Thank you. If I were him, I would have run away by now. Surprisingly enough, he's actually responding to our questions. So hey, since we've now become friends, why don't we exchange phone numbers? Ugukasu reverts back to shy mode and hides his eyes underneath his long bangs. Huh? What's wrong? There's kind of this unspoken rule about not asking for a person's phone number two minutes after meeting them. Whoa, really? But then what are the numbers even good for? I don't know, I. It's been less than five minutes. You're scaring the poor kid. Uh, no, it's not that. He tries to speak up, but it's barely audible. I'm really happy that you would consider me as a friend. But sadly, Oh, no phone. I okay, I get that. Oh, man, really? I'm sorry. Ugu Kasu sighs and fixates on the ground. About it. I'm sorry for suddenly asking you anyway. We can still be friends without trading numbers. Alright. He smiles and the air around him immediately changes. The kid is surprisingly welcoming after all. What about an email address? Hey you, you're breaking another unspoken rule. I, I don't have a computer either. Sorry. This man owns no technology. Then how the heck are we supposed to be friends? You're more off the grid than I am, and I... I have to put my hand over eyes mouth in order to keep her from giving away what... or er, who she is. Sorry again, but I'm usually around the campus in case you guys are here often. You should be able to spot me pretty easily. Coolio! Good to know! Not having a phone or a computer must be tough. I can't imagine not having at least one of those. I... just... I also don't really have all that many friends, so... Having something like that I'm sorry I keep skipping things. My hands are very tired. 
Well, if you say so. Besides, I enjoy nature more than people anyway. Okay, that's fair. I, I could get that. Oh. Yes, okay. I get that. Okay! I was going to try and reach the end here, but as I just saw, this episode is 40 minutes. I have to leave it there. I, I cannot do this for... This is going to be the longest Carpe Diem episode ever. Uh, thank you guys for watching the Deadly Emerald. If you enjoyed this episode of Carpe Diem Reboot, don't forget to like, subscribe, bring low bubbles, and all the good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a grand day. I'm so sorry to cut this off in the middle of it. <laughs>